There must be something in the Arizona water that's making rhinos go mad right now. Both members of the Grand Canyon State Senate dele delegation blasting President Trump using some very inflammatory language, speaking to a nearly empty Senate floor today. Retiring Senate Jeff, Senator Jeff Flake comparing the commander in chief to a murderous totalitarian dictator. Our own president uses words infamously spoken by Joseph Stalin to describe his enemies. It bears noting that so fraught with malice was the phrase enemy of the people that even Nikita Khrushchev forbade its use. We are not in a fake news era, as Bashar Assad says. We are, rather, in an era in which the authoritarian impulse is reasserting itself to challenge free people and free societies everywhere. Senator John McCain seemingly echoing those remarks, criticizing the president's criticism of the national left-wing media in an op-ed in the Washington Post, writing, quote, these efforts are being closely watched by foreign leaders who are already using his words as cover as a silence and shudder, one of the key pillars of democracy. Joining me now is Ronna McDaniel, chairwoman of the Republican National Committee. Uh, Ronna, we don't have to go far to find out what you think about all this. You had a tweet out saying, quote, Senator Flake, turn on the news. It's wall to wall with biased coverage against POTUS. He has every right to push back. Comparing the leader of the free world to murderous dictators is absurd. You've gone too far. Well, he wasn't reading your tweets. Well, that's not a tweet I want to put out today because I think we should be talking about Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and the danger that they would be to this country if they're able to ever take the reins of the Senate and the House again. Uh, but I did have to speak out in this instance because it was a step too far. The media is thriving. It's alive and well this, in this country. The president supports free speech. Even when it's a media that covers him negatively 90 percent of the time, he has every right to push back. And, and comparing him to a dictator was just mm. a step too far. I think so. Well, he also went beyond just going beyond the media for a moment. He said the truth itself is under assault. His words, truth is under assault. And I, it led me to wonder, where was he during the Obama administration when, and we put together PolitiFact, by the way, which is, if anything, leans to the left, put together a long list, over 50 examples of where President Obama lied about everything from Obamacare, in which he said you can keep your health plan, you can keep your doctor, won't add a dime to the deficit. He lied about the stimulus and how many jobs was created. He Remember, he called ISIS the JV team and then lied about whether he said it. Uh, he said that Fast and Furious began under G.W. Bush, which wasn't true. I mean, on and on and on. Where is the fair and balanced part of Senator Flake's speech? Well, and, and going back to President Obama, you look at Benghazi. Right. I mean, there were so many instances where there were things that deserved more coverage. They deserved more scrutiny. And, and that's all we're saying. We're not saying uh, tip the scales in favor of President Trump. We're saying let's be fair and balanced. But to say that this president doesn't uh, revere free speech, that he doesn't revere our Constitution, is just patently false. And we do have a media that spends 90 percent of their coverage negatively on this president. And that's totally out of balance with yeah. where our country is today, a year into this presidency. Look at our unemployment rate at 17, at a 17-year low, consumer to confidence at a 16-year high. You look at our military getting their first raise in, in over a decade. ISIS is on the run. I mean, I can list uh, thing after thing after thing uh, as to how our economy is doing, how our country is doing better under this presidency. But we're not hearing it day to day in the news. No. And I hear that all the time when I travel this country. People come to me and they say, why don't they report fairly on this president? Right. And I think that's the, the discussion we should be having How many, how many papers do you think tomorrow are going to focus on a 300-point gain in the Dow? The Dow well over 26,000. I, I could go on, but I, just one more thing on Flake, sure. because I have to correct something that he said. He's talking about everybody else putting out lies. He talked about President Trump, and I'm quoting here, using laws and regulations to stifle the truth. Do you have any idea what he was talking about? When has President Trump ever used a law to try to stifle the truth? I, I am not familiar with any instance of that. What I do know is this president is cutting 22 regulations for every one that's being created, and it has unleashed our economic revival, and we're just going to continue to do that. Listen, this is a president who is doing things and delivering for the American people, people in my home state of Michigan who were suffering, who were left behind by the Washington elite. And he came and he said, I'm going to go to Washington. I'm going to fight for you. And he's delivering every single day. I'm so thrilled with what's happened in this first year. 
and I, I'm only more excited about what's to come. Right. Rana, I got to ask you one question. You probably know what's coming about your uncle, Mitt yeah. Romney. I know you're not going to say whether because you guys very wisely, I think, don't discuss your plans with each other, which is a great yes. idea to keep uh, family peace. But if your uncle does run for the Senate in Utah and he does win, you're head of the DNC or the RNC. Will you give him advice, particularly in regard to how he talks about President Trump? Well, if he asks for advice, I'll give him advice. But my advice to all Republicans running would be focus on the Democrats. Uh, our country has suffered under Democratic leadership. We saw it under President Obama and, and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. And we are coming up against a hotly contested midterm. And we need to keep unified and keep our eyes on, uh, on the American people. And we know what Democrat leadership will mean for this country. That's why every day I'm out there raising money and putting a ground game in place so that we can keep our majorities in the midterms. And that's what every Republican should be focused on, along with touting the great accomplishments we've already made right. this first year under President President Trump. Well, you've been very successful at raising money. I, even Democrats have to admit that because they have not been as successful. Uh, Ronna McDaniel, chairwoman of the Republican National Committee, great to see you. Thank you for coming on.